for this problem number 23 and the rest of the problems in this series of videos, all we're trying to do is establish the identities, meaning that we, we want to prove that the current statement is true by simplifying one side to make it look like the other. So they are identities, and it's just our job to figure out how to get, like I said, how to get one side to look like the other. And if you remember, the guidelines here, general guidelines are, choose the side that's more complicated. It's easier to take a more complicated side and kind of whittle it down to, uh, to look like the other side instead of taking one small expression and then try to build that up to the other one. So clearly, the left side of the equation is the more complicated side. So we're going to put a box around the, uh, the side that, that we're not going to touch, and then we're just going to work on the other side. If you also remember, the next rule of thumb is, when in doubt, convert every expression to sine over co everything in terms of sine and cosine. So we see here we have the cosine of theta, and we're going to replace that with a, with a C. And then we know that tangent of theta can be written as sine of theta over cosine theta. And the cotangent, we can rewrite that as cosine over sine. So once we get everything to sine and cosine, we can just use C and S for those uh, for those functions, and then we'll put them put the thetas back in later. But anyway, as we see here, we can just go ahead and and uh, distribute this cosine of theta to both terms. And notice that if we multiply cosine of theta times sine over cosine, so c times s over c, that's just s. And then we have c times c over s would be c squared over s. Well, in this case we need a common denominator now. So we're looking at trying to get it to look like cosecant of theta. So I see that if I multiply top and bottom of this first fraction, or this first term by s, then I get s squared plus c squared over s. And that's sine squared plus cosine squared. Well, that's just 1. And then 1 over sine, uh, one over sine of theta, uh, so we'll put the sine of theta in there, is cosecant of theta. Check. So that's it.